Hey guys, it's Inkeater, and um, I kind of wanted to do a music update, but I kind of feel guilty because I'm doing it without Ink Drop, and it's kind of weird because He-Man is all like, you can't do it without Ink Drop, and I'm like, but I'm not really doing a Vinyl Wednesday where we talk about current stuff, I'm talking about music I like, so I thought there'd be no problem with that. So um, I thought I would talk about some music stuff that I recently purchased, and um, I'm kind of actually really enjoying because I kind of purchased them on a whim and was really just more interested in either a the artwork or just ooh I want new music because if you don't remember last month I was just kind of in withdrawal in terms of music and I've kind of determined it was just work and music and dealing with it all the time because as soon as I just took a step back and got a new perspective on it it was kind of like ah okay and then I just said, you know what, fuck it, let me buy a few albums on a whim. I haven't done this in a while where you just kind of go and say, I want this, I want that, and throw caution to wind and say, fuck it, I'm taking a chance. Um, I did that with two albums this past month. And they've turned out to be pretty damn awesome. I'm not surprised, though, considering um, they're from um, the same label that I, I really enjoy anyway. Um, one of the albums is um, Storm Davis, only good for keeping sandwiches. And... Um, <clears throat> the other one is, it's it's a Sage Francis album. Um, I bought it just for the artwork. I was kind of a really big fan of Inky Mole, who did um, the artwork for this album right here, um, Copper Gone. Um, this is probably like one of my favorite albums, but I've been playing it so much to the point where it's, it's the only album that I can really thoroughly enjoy, and it's kind of weird how that kind of happens, because you kind of set your bar, your expectation a little bit too high. But um, I purchased the um, Storm Davis and the this album right here on a whim, just because I loved the artwork right here. I bought this album just for the artwork. Um, and it's signed, if you're into that stuff by the artist and by uh, by both, um, the person who did the drawings and the guy who did the album. And um, there's also a drawing on the back, which I thought was really cool. Um, so I've been listening to the CD more than anything, and it's, it's a really great CD. Maybe review it later on um, down the road. I'm just, I just haven't yet. Um, but if you're interested in that, I'll leave some links down below if you're into hip-hop type rap. So yeah, um, those are some items that I recently purchased and kind of enjoying some on the artwork basis and um, some on the music basis in the sense of I've had nothing to listen to except for the Copper Gone album. And don't get me wrong, like, though, um, it's amazing um, from beginning to end. Just have no words for it. Um, have you ever listened to an album and it just leaves you speechless? Like, you have no words other than this is amazing, this is awesome, this is really... <sighs> yeah, it's one of those types of albums. And uh, it's been a while since an album's done that to me. But another album that um, I was really psyched to find um, was... I found the single to the Sugar Hill Gang, um, Rapper's Delight. I, um, and it has this really cool sleeve. I, I really love the artwork. It's oh, so beautiful. Um, I just cannot believe that I own this. Um, I grew up with a dad who was completely obsessed with like early hip-hop slash rap. And to find this was just absolutely like brilliant. And it kind of brought me back to my childhood. And this was just a really really great find um, of just growing up with my dad and listening to music in the car. Yeah, um, so I'm curious, um, have you ever sat there and purchased an album on a whim? Um, I did that this past month and it was actually kind of cool because I found some really cool music and stuff that I really normally would never have bought because I just said, you know what, let's just go clicky clicky and let's buy something new. Um, so yeah, I'll leave some links down below if you're interested in any of the albums that I showed uh, and oh before I go um, I'm curious what's your favorite song that you're currently listening to uh, mine as of recently is um, this one song that's out there um, I, I, I don't know who sings it who sings the song zombie okay you don't know it's cool oh uh, dang it um you probably heard it on the rap or the hip-hop channel um, it's kind of on the mainstream radio end of things because I kind of go any which way with music. Um, yeah. 
Um, but it's that song where it's basically talking about, I don't give a fuck. And um, that's kind of the gist of the whole song. I am absolutely in love with this song because it's kind of like just sticking it to the person and basically saying, you know what? I don't give a fuck about you or anything that you do. You know, it's kind of like I'm doing my own thing and um, maybe that's not the message of the song, but I just kind of love it. It's an amazing and awesome song in that sense and I've just been kind of obsessed with that and yeah. It's one of those like, <clears throat> makes you feel like, anyway, um, I don't know where I was going with this. Um, hope you guys are doing awesome, but let me know, definitely, what's your favorite song that you're currently listening to? Um, I just really love, um, hearing what you guys are listening to, and just getting to know different things out there. Um, as you can see, that's just a little bit of a taste, um, of what I enjoy, what I enjoy, or what I'm really enjoying right now, or what I've recently purchased, actually. Um, not used to doing one of these purchase type Things because I don't necessarily go out of my way to purchase new albums or new CDs. Um, I'm more of a used CD album type person. So this was kind of like cool and new and different. And it's kind of adding to my collection of newer records. I'm trying to fill that gap now in my collection. I'm kind of done venturing into the past. And I'm kind of into the forward end of things. Granted, don't get me wrong. I have my moments. Um, like... I was really enjoying um, some Bessie Smith. Um, recently was doing some research and um, she kind of blew my mind out of the water. So yeah, she's a thing too. Um, I don't know where I was going. I don't know where I was going with this. I kind of just went on a ramble and a tangent. Anyway, I hope you guys are doing awesome uh, and I hope you enjoyed this music. I guess this was a music haul. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Bye.